proposed scope of work for Kearney, New Jersey. This is a dedicated easement. The dedicated easement starts back right where that black car turned in over by where the gray car is. That's where your the, 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 the right of way road ends and everything from that point all the way back approximately 700 feet is a dedicated uh, is the easement road. Uh, what our proposal is is to clean up this road to allow easier access. Probably uh, hot patch some of these uh, uh, pavement areas in here and maybe seal coat it. Then what we want to do is to get in all this shrubs. I don't know if you can see the fence line. There's a culvert that's back here. And just clean all this up. Just knock all these trees down. And take it all the way back to the fence so that you have a clear view as the customers are coming. You'll have a clear view of the building and you can put signage on the side of the building. So we can get all the way back and I think knock down all this trees and shrubberies and get this cleaned up so that, you're, uh, that you've got a, a pretty good view. You could also maybe put some signage along this fence here. Some of the fencing is uh, is dented. I think Wall, you said you could probably pull these things back, but I, I think you know you could put some signage. Uh, maybe paint the fence purple, purple. But I put maybe just use some signage along here. I think just by removing all this foliage, you'd end up with uh, with a lot more visibility, you know, heading into the building. You also, from the corner of uh, Harrison and Sanford, you could actually see the building uh, from that corner, and I think again trimming up some of these trees would allow uh, signage to help get customers to know where you're at. As we're walking up in here, um, I'm not sure how far you want the asphalt to go. We can get pricing. This is all kind of a gravel area. I'm not sure what you want to do in here. But if we can... Uh, Maybe just clean this area up, patch it, and possibly just seal coat it. Want to get striping in this area right in here. Then as we walk into here, what we're proposing is to take this door out and put a 10 by 10 storefront that uh, that would come up across here to about here, come down, put a storefront in here. This wall here gets blown out. Take this door and move it over here. We're going to square up this wall so that you have a 45 foot straight run from that point all the way to there. We're going to leave this room as is, take the glass out, finish this wall again so that you take these two walls out, finish this across, 
so that you have a solid white box wall. This all goes here. Knock this all out in here. So that basically from the storefront, when you walk in, you'll see approximately a 45 by 18, 20 foot showroom in the back. Not much to do in the warehouse. Uh, the cement tables here can come out pretty easily and we can knock out these tables back in here. But I would like to leave these back here because you get into mechanical plumbing. So I would I would like to leave if possible all these. So I mean, you know we can get rid of these pretty easily in here, but I'd like to leave all these. We're going to call up Willingham Crane, get a price on these, uh, see if we can resell these uh, these cranes to them. Maybe you can get a five dollars uh, back for selling these cranes, so Wally doesn't go back and put them on his uh, garage sale. Well, I think the trouble is going to cost him if you take them out.